Ida Katushabe is a first-year medicine student at Makere University. Prior to her enrollment at the institution, the 20-year-old was looking for a scholarship as she was not sure her parents would afford her tuition if she did not get government scholarship. Katushabe's search saw her attend an education exhibition in Kampala in June last year. This was where she got the contact for Center for International Education and later met Simon Mohanji. He gave me forms to apply and he told me I had to pay 50000 for application forms. He told me the process would take 350 US dollars. Katshave was determined to pay whatever price for a scholarship to study medicine at a university in South Korea. When I got some money, like around maybe 100,000, I would pay. When I get 200, I would pay. And then the first installments I gave him, he gave me receipts for them. But then for the other installments I gave him, he didn't give me any receipt. In total, I paid uh, 1.2 million. Mohanji allegedly gave her the email of a person who he claimed would be her contact person in South Korea. Also suspecting this email address could have been the same Simon Mohanji was communicating with her. The 20-year-old says that during their communication, the claimed contact person promised to visit Uganda last December and return with her to South Korea this January. When that did not happen, she contacted Mohanji again. Someone like a guardian talked to him, asking him about the progress of everything. He said he didn't know anything about it. That is when I confirmed that something was up. Katshari was frustrated and decided to directly contact the university in South Korea about the scholarship. They replied back and they said they didn't know anything about it. She says she had given up on Mohanji until she came across Bob Arora, a student of medicine at Kampala International University in Bushenye, who also claimed he had been conned by the same man. The yes, 30 percent that I was supposed to pay was worth 350 dollars which was worth 1.29 Ugandan shillings so I had to give him that money in total it summed up to 1.97 the two reported the matter to police and we have arrested Simon Mohanji we are going to charge him with obtaining money by false pretense when he was arrested Mohanji was found in possession of a Stanbic bank employee identity card he has a fake company which he has opened where he's conning people and at the same time is he working with Stanbic Bank. So we are trying also to investigate that case. Mohanji admits obtaining money from both students. Uh, Aida gave me 1,250,000 and uh, Bob gave me 1,970,000. I mm. used the money. Police is also investigating the credibility of Center for International Education. Gertrude Tumusime with Kwari. NTV.